Mm, the trials and tribulations of trying to film a few videos and not eating your lunch and then having low blood sugar. Not a smart move. <laughs> hey there, so hopefully I have not put you off my grotesque eating. But this is going to be, as the video's thumbnail suggests, a Space NK haul, but also a little bit of House of Fraser as well. Um, basically, I went to a Kate Somerville Space NK evening event type thing and picked up a few bits there. But also, following my birthday, I had a little facial booked with Kiehl's, so picked up a couple of bits in there as well, so I will be including that too. Let's start off with what you came for though, the good stuff. The stuff I shouldn't be spending my money on. But it was my birthday month last month and you can get a little bit spendy on your birthday. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is two little mini samples. But I have to speak about them because in recent months I have tried pretty much every miniature from Drunk Elephant. Um, I was kindly gave some of them by a girl who I met via Instagram. Uh, and I tried their C Firma Cream, the kind of vitamin C thing and the luxury marula oil. I've also tried their B Hydra serum in the mini and the, what's it called? I can't remember the proper name for it, but it's the glycolic, glycolic serum type thing. Whatever that was. I tried that as well, because I quite like glycolic stuff. But I tried all of the kind of miniatures and they have in Space NK the Littles set, which I was very close to purchasing with some of my other full size items and said to the girl, I've really kind of tried quite a lot of these and she kindly gifted me or gave me a sample of the Lala Retro Moisturiser because this is one of the things that I really wanted to try from the little set, but I tried so many other stuff. There's pretty much no fragrance on it, but I haven't tried it yet. It's the Lala Retro Moisturiser. I will let you know how I get on with that. It's three o'clock in Scotland and we're starting to lose the light. The second sample that I got was something from Kate Somerville and it was the Wrinkle Warrior kind of uh, two-in-one moisturiser. It has a lovely scent to it, but I, again, I was already trying a few things. I didn't want to get loads of moisturisers and then I wouldn't use them, so I got a miniature sample of that as well. Because it was a Kate Somerville event, I did think, well, you've got to try one of the absolute holy grail golden star products of the brand. So I thought I would get the Exfoliate. I've seen a lot of American YouTubers and bloggers and Instagrammy influencer, hate that word, people talk about the Exfoliate line and especially the intensive Exfoliate treatment. Uh, the girl who was there for Kate Somerville was very, very pleasant indeed. She told us a little story about how this was the kind of launching product for Kate Somerville. I think I kind of already knew that anyway. But basically that she made this up into a little green paste and started giving it to some Hollywood celebs and then someone came along and said, hey, we want you to bottle that, and they did. Uh, I have heard so much about this. They say to use it um, either in the morning or at night time once or twice a week. I have yet to try this. I will most definitely make a video letting you know what I think of this and if it is worth the hefty hefty price tag. I am not even going to say out loud how much this was because if my other half watches this video he might die if he finds out <laughs> how much I spent on this face product. So I will link below to anywhere you can buy it and you can go and see how much it cost yourself. I'm sorry if that's not helpful but because it was a Kate Somerville event, we also got given a miniature, miniature I say, but it's 50ml size of the Exfoliate Cleanser. It is a daily cleanser you can use, but it does say it's foaming, which I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I will give it a go again. I will keep you up to date on how I feel about this. I then picked up the Emma Hardy Plump and Glow Hydrating Facial Mist. Yes, Hydrating Facial Mist. Mist? Mist. Who do I think I am? Sean Connery? No. Mist, facial mist. Uh, the reason I picked this up is because I really enjoyed my Jerlique Rose Mist. I've tried the one from Lush, the kind of Oroma Water, whatever it is, and I'm currently using the Glossier Rose kind of soothing rose water spray. 
Um, that was gifted to me at Christmas and I'm enjoying that as well. But I am feeling like I've tried the Ormoviska one as well, the Queen of Hungry mist. I've tried an array of facial mists, but I've went back to rose water each time. But in saying that, there's not really any active ingredients in a lot of the rose water mists. So I wanted to try something that had kind of more active ingredients in it. And this actually has hyaluronic acid in it. So I've tried hyaluronic acid in my routine before as well, tried it. Thought it was okay, but felt it didn't slot in anywhere very nicely. But as I do like a facial mask, I thought I will try this because that will slot in nicely and incorporate my hyaluronic acid. Um, this is a 90ml bottle, so it is a hefty size. And I feel like for the size of it and for what you get, it's a pretty reasonable price tag for the brand it is. The um, Kate Somerville stuff that I had a look at that night when I was there, and as I say, the Orma Visca sprays that I've seen before, the higher end sprays, for what you're actually getting are so much more expensive than this one. I think this was £40, which isn't cheap. I'm not trying to say it. It's it's fucking expensive, I'm not going to lie. But it's cheaper than the other ones that I've tried. Um, and actually, I'm going to open this and show you because I really liked the packaging on this as well. So it comes in this kind of tube, which I thought was a great idea. And it's obviously got a spray at the top. I just find, I just really like that. I thought as well, if it ever came to, I wanted to take it somewhere for travel, it's so much easier to take than that of my kind of Jerlique spray. Even the mini Jerlique one I take is glass. So I, I do really like the packaging on this. It has that kind of, I hate to say it, spa scent to it. And I quite like the smell of rose and it's got some sort of floral velvet, Velvet flower, I think that's what it said. But I'm really, really intrigued about this and very, very eager to try it. Once I will not open it until my glossy one is finished, though. We shall see. See if all these just end up in an empties video, and I'm like, meh. I'm gonna look a bit stupid now, but <laughs> we'll see. We'll give it a go. Uh, there was a couple of other bits that I wanted to try, so I bought the miniatures of, and that is the. Oscar London Renaissance Cleansing Gel. This is a miniature. Uh, it was about £10 for the miniature or something like that. But you know that I love the Glossy Milky Jelly Cleanser. And I'm not saying that this is a cheaper option for it. But I've heard a lot about kind of these gel cleansers. So I wanted to give this one a go to see how, how it was on the grand scheme of things. I've heard loads of people speak about this as well. So we shall see. Um, I just wonder, I've heard about people saying that this is less drying than the Milky Jelly Cleanser. I don't find that the Milky Jelly Cleanser dries my skin out, so it'll be interesting. It was more of just a, my nose was bothering me too much and I needed to kind of see what the hype was about. But miniature sizes you can do that with. I've spoke about it before when I've been in Space NK. Get the minis. Get them, try them. If you absolutely love something, go back for it. But always get the minis. I also picked up from Eve Lom the miniature of their cream like solid cleanser because I am doing a kind of battle of the solid cleansers just now, um, a bit like I've done my face mask battles. I'm doing a battle between all of my kind of cream solid block cleansers. So I picked up this one as well just to pit it against because it's obviously a higher end brand. And my battery just ran out, so I'm trying to get this done as quickly as possible before the light goes completely. So as I said, I went to Kiehl's for a wee facial. It was a deal or something that Alan had seen, and bless him, I actually was just like, is that not that brand you like? There's a deal for them. There's a fiver for a facial. And you go and then you spend way more than a fiver. So I'm going to start off with some bits that I've had before and I know that I love. And I basically picked them up again because, as I say, it was towards the end of my birthday month, I had a little bit extra cash. And then I'll get into the other bits and bobs that I've picked up purely out of either nosiness or hearing about them. Oh, I suppose I should tell you all the samples that she gave me first. She actually gave me a hefty amount of samples because I'd mentioned it was my birthday. What was the lady's name? Michelle, I think. Lovely lady. Very, very nice. Um, but she gave me so many... Um, samples because I'd mentioned that it was my birthday. Okay, so she let me try the Creme de Corps Nourishing Body Oil, which I've always heard very, very good things about and I'm very, very intrigued to try. 
I love keeping these for traveling, so I may put it away or I may try it in the house, I'm not sure. Probably will keep it for traveling though, for kind of hot holidays, really like that. Along with that, she gave me a little sample of the Creme de Corpse soothing oil or smoothing oil? Smoothing oil, and it's the oil to foam body cleanser. So it's like in the shower type thing, it's an oil, it becomes foam, which I'm very intrigued about. I might well try this at home, not keep this one, because I just think the idea of it is quite intriguing. So I'm quite looking forward to trying that. She gave me a mini of the Ultra Facial, but it's the overnight one, which I'm quite intrigued about as well. It's like the little mask, because I still don't have a holy grail overnight mask. I just don't. And this is actually like clear in the pot. Like it looks like Vaseline. I don't know if you can see that there. So it's more like an overnight mask. So that I'm very, very excited to try. I love an overnight mask. So that's quite exciting. She then gave me a whole hoard of the little sachet things that you can get, which I probably will keep these for travel because they're so useful. Uh, one is the Glow Formula Hydrator thing, which we'll talk about in a moment. The Iris Extract Activating Treatment Essence, which again, we'll talk about in a minute. Um, the Super Multi Corrective Cream, which is actually what I use um, kind of in my day to day anyway. And this is the one that she's gave me is the one without the SPF in it. So mine says SPF 30 in it and she's gave me the one without. So I'm, I used to use this as a nighttime cream, but then went and picked up the one with the SPF to be able to use it during the daytime. I might go back to that one as my nighttime cream. We'll see. I don't know. But I know I have used these products before, so it's not like this was new to me. She then gave me the Hydro Plumping Retexturizing Serum Concentrate. Um... I'm sure she used this on my skin when I was in there, so I'm, you know, as I said, I didn't really have any kind of hyaluronic hydro step in my skincare. I was using kind of peptides and I would say like Matrixol, stuff like that. So I'm quite eager to try and get more of the hydration boost in as well. So we'll see how that goes. Obviously, it's only enough for to try it like once. And she gave me a little sample of the Youth Dose Eye Treatment, which I was very intrigued about. And I actually had seen this in Space NK and was like, well, I'll pick that up. I think this looks like it's very similar to the Clinique Super Defense Eye Cream um, with the SPF 20, but it almost has a bit of a tint to it and it's very illuminating under the eye. And I think this looks very similar. So I'm quite excited to try that one. Moving on to the things that I actually purchased with my own money, um, the Midnight Recovery Eye Cream. It is my, it is, it's my holy grail. I hate to sound like a total old YouTube dick, but it is my holy grail. It's what I use every single night without fail. So I got another one of them because mine is very slowly running out. I then picked up the Iris Essence. As I said, we would talk about it in a moment. So this is the Iris Extract Activating Treatment Essence. That is a bloody mouthful. Um, basically, this is one of these ones you would put on, you would put on your toner. Sorry, I had to, I had to read it there just to make sure what I was gonna say was make sense. So I would come out of the shower, I would tone with my pixie, you then, Spray this on your face, not spray it on, you then put it on your hands and put it on your face. You can put it on a cotton wool pad if you want, but you could just pop it on your hands, put it all over your face, then put on your serums and moisturizers. I'm sure that's what she told me, absolutely sure. And it says here to be used before your normal routine. So I would tend to think that's what it was, but she definitely told me to use your toner first, definitely. I've heard Anna from the Anna Edit speak about this quite a lot. And to be honest with you, anything she says I'll be like you know sell me a chocolate teapot and I'll buy it <laughs> but, but I, I don't mean what she's saying is nonsense it's just she's just so um her skin's great I love her style and I think anything that I watch I think oh god yeah I'm kind of interested in that I'm of a similar age and of a similar skin type and I want to see what that is so I thought I would give this a go um and I'm very excited to kind of incorporate it in to my skin routine. I'm not sure how I'm going to incorporate this and the mist. That might be something I have to look into. I'll maybe just need to use the whole one up and the whole other one up. I don't know. What do you do? Do you essence first or do you mist first? I always thought you misted 
so that your skin was like damp and then the products you put on top soak in better. Anybody knows that? Answers on a postcard, greatly appreciated. I might have to go and see if Carolyn Howans has covered that somewhere. I then picked up the Powerful Strength Lime Reducing Concentrate. I was going to say serum there, it's not, it's a concentrate. This has vitamin C, it is 12.5 vitamin C and it has hyaluronic acid in it as well. As I said, I'm trying to incorporate that back into my routine somewhere. I was using the Drunk Elephant C Firma, kind of vitamin C cream basically, it's like a kind of serum as well. And I really, really enjoyed that. I have actually kept the little miniature and I just kind of been refilling it. I also started to use, I don't think I have it here because I finished it, was It's Skin. I don't know if you've seen that, it's in Boots. I'll link anything I speak about below. And it was their vitamin C cream. And actually, using any kind of vitamin C, I've really enjoyed. Now the It's Skin was not as pricey as the Drunk Elephant or Kiehl's, but I just wanted to try something that wasn't quite as expensive as Drunk Elephant, but still a bit luxurious. Does that make sense? So I thought, well, I'll try Kiehl's. I know I love Kiehl's. Before I go all in and just buy Drunk Elephant because I think, oh, that's, you know, the fancy brand and I need to spend all that ridiculous amount of money on them. So I thought, I'll try this. I've tried the It's Skin one. If I feel that the, the you know, this one it does mainly the same as the full bottle of It's Skin done, then I'll go back to the It's Skin because it cost me, like, I don't know, a tenner or something, and this obviously cost a lot more than that. But it does have hyaluronic acid in it as well, and I was trying to incorporate that in somewhere. So I'm interested to see how this goes. I've found that using vitamin C over the last couple of months has really helped the radiance of my skin. I find sometimes my skin can be a little bit flat, it is a little bit dry at times, and it's getting a little bit older, so I don't know. This, this I think, could be a good step. I think this is gonna be good. And finally, as I said when I picked up the little sachet sample, I did pick up the full size of the Glow Formula Skin Hydrator. I seen a lot of people speaking about this last summer. So one of the reasons that I have picked it up is because if you watched my 2018 favourites video, you will know that I rant and rave about the number seven Rapid Radiance Balm. It's lovely. It has a kind of pink iridescence to it, pink, glow to it if that's what you want to call it and I think it's great for just on its own or under makeup. It's only about £18 or something like that, maybe even £13, I can't remember. It's not over 20 quid anyway. But I thought this is the reason I started looking into BAMs like that, so why not try that one and see how it goes. This one however is much darker than the number 7 one. I think it's got a lovely fragrance though. It smells a bit like the It Cosmetics CC cream actually. But it's much more kind of a golden glow, I would say, than a pinky toned one. So this might be more useful for me in the summer. But what I'm gonna do is I will, I've got it on my wrist there, I don't know if you can see it. You can actually see on my hands there how it's a bit more orangey, which really, frightens me a little bit. But maybe with a tan, this will be okay. And the lady that done my facial that day, I asked her about this and she put it on at the end of my facial. And I took a photo that day, I will pop it in here. No makeup, no filter, no nothing. And I was like, my skin looks amazing. Like, I can't believe that's how good my skin looks. It might have just been because I had a really nice facial done, but the glow that was coming off it was un believable. So I did kind of get wangled into buying it and thinking that's pretty impressive. I think I have just managed to complete this video before the, the light just goes completely. It is so, so dark now. Um, I think if I wait any longer I would need to get my big light out. So that's it. That's all the bits and bobs that I picked up. You have to spend a bit more in your birthday month, don't you? You don't really. My other half won't see it that way. But <laughs> I enjoyed spending and I will see if they have all been worth the money and I will keep you updated on that. If you've enjoyed this video, then please like. If you have been here before and you think, oh, that's, you know, she's all right. I wouldn't mind watching her again. Then please click the big circle of my 
mush at the end of the video and if you fancy you can also follow me over on Instagram and Twitter. Thank you again for watching and I hope to see you again soon and I hope this was kind of interesting because I've spent a hell of a lot of money that I kind of was like oh god maybe I shouldn't have so hopefully hopefully some of these work we'll see thanks again bye